I still lose sleep over this fact. You may remember, or you may have heard, that Einstein's relativity, where the faster you move, right, the slower time, time. ticks for you, right, as others view it. Relative okay? to the observer. Relative to the observer, correct. You don't know anything's happening. Right. Your clock still ticks as far, you still got your, your heartbeat, all of this, okay? So this is not a physiological thing. It is an actual property of the fabric of space and time under those conditions. Wow. I watch you fly by, and the faster you go, the slower time ticks for you, okay? But my time stays the same. To you. To me. Right. To you. So not only does speed do this, also the strength of a gravitational field will have the same effect on you. Oh. The stronger the gravitational field is, the slower time ticks for you. Oh. And that wasn't formulated until his general theory of relativity. Oh, oh, wh wh while we're there, let me just slip this in. The GPS satellites orbit higher than our, than like the space station and, right. and other things that are in what we call low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit. They're in like MEO. That is far enough away from Earth's source of gravity for them to have a different, a measurably different space-time condition. So that their clocks tick faster than our clocks on Earth's surface. Because they're farther away. And so, remember I said the, the more intense the gravitational, the, gravitational field, the, slower, the slower time ticks. So they're farther away, their time ticks faster relative to us. Wow. But we get precise timings from geosynchronous satellites. We pre-correct the time signal from the GPS satellites to compensate for Einstein's general theory of relativity so that by the time the time reaches us, it's been properly corrected and it matters to us and our space-time continuum, not the one that's at Middle Earth orbit. Oh my goodness. Let's keep going faster and faster. Let's okay. go half the speed of light, three All quarters right. the speed, 90% the speed of light, 99% the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Time is ticking slower and slower and slower. For you, you will watch the whole future history of the universe unfold in front of your eyes. As fractions of a second go by for you, as you go 99, there's a formula for this, of course, but 99, 99.9, 99.99% the speed of light. Because you're the observer of that, of but that. for you, your time has slowed to the point where as you observe the things that are not moving at the speed of light, you see them speeding, basically, uh, correct. you see speeding them up. unfold, correct. boom, God, correct. that is insane. Okay. I didn't even get to the part where I lose sleep. There are particles that decay. You've heard of like radioactivity, right? Yes. It's right. one part, it decays and becomes another part and releases the often deadly energy, Yes. okay, radioactivity, all right. right. What happens if you take that particle and speed it up in a particle accelerator? So you take a, 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 a community of these particles, speed them up, calculate, wait a minute, the internal wristwatch on these clocks says they should live longer, and sure enough, their decay time takes longer. Wow, that's, oh my God. Yes, yes. So oh, wow. Yes. And that becomes, yes. That becomes living proof of what yeah. Einstein said. Yes, because we can't go half the speed of light. Right. But you can accelerate a particle to do that. Yes. And it's an internal built-in clock that decays after a certain amount of time, and there they are taking longer to decay in the exact amount that Einstein predicts. That okay. is genius. So we don't make this stuff up, okay? Yeah. It, it, yes, it is genius. It's like triple genius. All right, let's take this to an extreme level. Right. Let's go so fast that we're going the speed of light itself. Right. Well, we can't do that because we're made of material substance and that's there's no way to do that. But there are things that travel at the speed of light. And what is that? Uh, those would be photons. Yes. What travels at the speed of light? Light does. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say light. <laughs> so if photons had a clock, the clock would never tick. Nice. Which means when I go to a mountaintop, as I did in graduate school, to observe the center of the Milky Way galaxy for stars that emitted their light 30,000 years ago, 
traveling through the gaps of interstellar space and they move through space, come through Earth's atmosphere, they come down into the telescope, they reflect, go back to my detector and land on my CCD chip. That photon, when it was born, at the star that emitted it, was detected at my telescope in the same instant. Wow. According to the photon itself. Mm. Live fast, die hard. <laughs> the, the photon has no knowledge, no knowledge of that trip. Right. Because time did not exist for it. 